So today, you see here, I'm gonna show you this place, Jima, which was a little island they built just off the coast of Japan when they kicked all the rest of the world out and they closed it off to the rest of the world. The story is that Christianity was spreading throughout Japan, it was taking a hold and it had led to like, they were sort of like the Christians were rebelling so they had to stamp it out. So they kicked everybody out, all the foreigners, all the missionaries, especially the Portuguese and the Spanish, they kicked them out. This is the story anyway. And they let the Dutch stay because the Dutch were just interested in the money they went, but they put the religion aside, you know, Protestants, Dutch. They just what just the money and the English as well. But the story has it according to a source that the English couldn't make it pay. They spent all the money on hookers apparently on expensive prostitutes. They literally spurged all the money on that. So but well, the Dutch were good. They they made it pay. Especially Dutch East India Company. Uh, this company. See what what my point is is it's not the country. The country's bullshit. The country's just like they say we ship the flying the flag of convenience. That's what the people who rule have done throughout history. They've slid from country to empire to empire to country to country to organisation to organisation. And that's how they're controlled by controlling the top organisations. And they used to do it by like under the name of Spain or under the name of Britain or under the name of Dutch or under the name of America. But that they, they've done away with that again, I think. It's more just, you know, open season again. It's not countries anymore. It's not so much. Like, well, look at America. Their army's been used as a, the corporate army, the world corporate army for years, man. Whatever way you look at it. Even if you're not a conspiracy theorist, even if you just watch the news, their own news, you'd go into that. But anyway, they built this island after they kicked all Christians out because they were converting it and they were getting too rowdy and upsetting traditions. They spent all the money on. They were using uh, a, a tech head and um, it's, 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 it's an artificial island. Uh, and, artificial uh, island? There's walls. Uh, the Dutch ones laid off. Made in the same way that. Um, and all the woods on it was it was very very small just about a third of an acre uh made in the same way that um amsterdam was just you sort of hammer piles uh into the uh seabed and um it's 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 it's, it's, it's an artificial island uh and uh you hammer piles into the seabed built like amsterdam it's an artificial island all the rest of it. They kicked them out. They built this island. They built it on pilings. They built it all the same way as they built Amsterdam. It's only tiny. It's less than, I'm sure it's less than half an acre. And there's a bridge and it had guards on. All the foreigners had to stay on the island. They could get permission to travel across now and then by special permission of the top magistrates and top geezers. But they have guards on them gates and all the foreigners stayed on the island so they wouldn't step foot on the holy ground of Japan, you know? They had to stay on this bit. And it's like a fan shape as you can see. And they put pilings down and and then just keep putting them on and building it up, building it up till it raised it above sea level. Same as they did a lot of places. And this place ran like clockwork, well, you know, it had it ups and downs, but they ran it smooth for years. But there was loads of fiddling and fraud. I read this, well, I started reading this novel, but I've left it on a bus, I think. I can't find it anyway. I'm <laughs> halfway through it and I'm really annoyed because it's brilliant. He spent four years working on the novel. He's the guy who did um, Cloud Atlas, eh? That's the only reason I've heard of this place, or I've never ever heard of it. And it's it's interesting because there's a lot of records, you know, as far as you can trust them from that time and stuff. There's a lot uh, up, up to 1850s, looking at that though. 
look to house Portuguese traders and separate them from Japanese society by digging a canal through a small peninsula. The Dutch were moved to the Jima in 1641. See, I've been told different. I've been told they built that island. So they built it up, same as they did Amsterdam. I don't trust Wiki, though. I'll, I'll trust the sources I got, but I'll find them for you if I have to. Might be later they built that. But well, the 25 local Japanese families who owned the land received an annual rent from the Dutch. Dejima was a small island, 120 metres by 75 metres, linked to the mainland by a small bridge guarded on both sides with a gate on the Dutch side. It contained houses for 20 Dutchmen, warehouses and accommodation for Japanese officials. The Dutch were watched by a number of Japanese officials, gatekeepers, night watchmen and a supervisor with about 50 subordinates. Numerous merchants supplied goods and catering, about 150 interpreters served. They all had to be paid by the VOC, as the city of Nagasaki and Dejima was under the direct supervision of Edo through a governor. So then, the translators were in very powerful positions, because they got, how they translated things were, you know, it could swing things politically and all sorts, there were all sorts of shenanigans going on. The novel's great. Just a very cute, I just... Weird place. Just thought it'd be interesting to share it. Dejima. The Dutch were 200, about 250 years, I think. Because they weren't interested in the religion. They weren't allowed any religious books, like when, say, you, the new, like in the book, The Thousand Autumns of Jacob de la Zoo, that book there, the main character of that, he gets sent to this island. They like the new hands coming in and the old hands have been left because they've all been caught fiddling, it's all come on top and these are like a new sw a clean sweep and this guy is ever so earnest and honest but the new clean sweep he thinks he's there to deliver, well he, obviously the new boss is just as crooked as the one before and just more cunning and it's, it's good and then everyone's fiddling, you know what I mean, everybody's at it, it's crazy. But it's just a fascinating history, the story behind it, as much as we can trust it. In 1609, the Dutch East India Company had run a trading post on the island of Haradu. The departure of the